Hello. Hello and welcome to the final episode of the Guardian Heroes Let's Play Something on the channel. I am Enemy Zero, your host, aka Sean, aka Enemy Zero, <laughs> your host. So, I chose to play Serena for this last episode. This is the last episode. This is the fifth ending that we've been talking about. So, just like the other playthroughs, I'm going to skip through the di most of the dialogue in the first couple levels. This path we're doing today has a couple, a few new levels. Because that's the point of this, is to see more than, see all the levels in the game, okay? And I really liked Serena the last playthrough, so we're sticking it out with her again. I can't use a magic user, I'm sorry. I even thought about it. I sat at the menu and was like, Randy? No. Nicole? No. <laughs> Jinjiru? Maybe. And then I was just like... Serena was a lot of fun. Let's just stick with Serena. So, that's where we're at. That's my decision. You have to live with it. All two of you. So, we're going through the first levels. This is Guardian Heroes for the Saturn. Original Saturn hardware. This is my disc. My uh, original disc I got many, many years ago when I was a young, young lad. I know in the last episode I talked a little about. Uh, maybe not the last episode, I don't remember which episode exactly. Okay, I'm a super bad YouTube creator, okay? Um, I talked about. Uh, Sega Saturn versus PlayStation. Like, I got a Saturn first, PlayStation much later. So I remember the first game I ever got for my Saturn was Panzer Dragoon. Which is going to be an upcoming video series on here. The next series might, might actually be God of War Ragnarok, which I talked about last episode. So I'm hyped to play that. Can't wait to play that. But anyways... My first game I ever owned on the Saturn was Panzer Dragoon. It's got a special place in my heart. I have the, my original disc for that too. Although the opening cinema doesn't play anymore. It's kind of <laughs> kind of disappointing. The cinema freezes at a certain point. I don't know. The disc looks okay, but I don't know. Anyways, I can't play the whole cinema. So if I do a little <laughs> let's play on it anyways, we're not going to be watching the opening cinema, I guess. Come on, Serena, tear him up. She's got so many cool moves. Anyways, my point in s talking about this is Panzer Dragoon was my first Saturn game ever. My first PlayStation game ever that I've got. I got my system from an acquaintance at high school. I wouldn't say it was a friend. He worked at a store called Kmart. And apparently PlayStation just came out. They just got a shipment of him and... You know, one of them wound up into his hands. I'm not going to give out any more information than that, apparently. But anyways, at school, he was like, you know, hey, I got a PlayStation brand new sealed. You want it? I'll give it to you for $100. And I was like, uh, we did. Money was very short on supply when I was younger. I've gone into this before. But it was like... How can we pass that up? So, again, I begged my mom, you know, I'll put together what I have. Mom, please, let me get it, get it from him. So, anyways, that's how I got my first PlayStation 1, the system. And I didn't have any games for about a week. <laughs> and then I eventually went to the store and uh, bought a game. And my first ever PlayStation game, long box version, was Resident Evil. The first Resident Evil. So that has a super super special place in my heart too as my first ever PlayStation 1 game I distinctly remember it it was in a long box and everything I think I got it from EB Games at the mall EB Games is not around anymore but back in the day EB Games was great They, the local one I had actually carried some Saturn imports so I think they ordered stuff that maybe not all movie games would order. 
So I, I remember I got a few Saturn imports from them. I believe I bought my copy of Radiant Silver Gun from them. How did I die? This guy's got so much health when you're by yourself. Anyways, uh, I believe I got my copy of Radiant Silver Gun from them. A copy that I still have today, obviously. I know I got X-Men vs. Street Fighter with the import Saturn there with the Ram cart. And that's maybe it. Maybe I got a couple more things. All right, here's Golden Golden Warrior. I'm getting off track on the video, but you know, this is the what sixth time we've seen this, so if you're watching this video along with me, I see we very loosely. I'm mainly just talking to you know my two viewers. But he's back. He's live. And we know from the other playthroughs, he's was brought back to life by the Sky Spirits. I wish we knew his name. Stage two, Prelude to Hope. And he was a ex ex uh, soldier knight of the cons. So let's keep going, skipping this dialogue, let's get through this. The next stage is something we haven't done before, I don't think. Oh no, we have done. Anyways, we're gonna get to different stages eventually. So for this playthrough, if you watch like all six episodes, you know, if, you know, you wanna be a cool person, all the cool people are doing that, you know. You'll see basically every stage in the game, there's just a couple of random ones that we didn't get to. So I don't know. I might play them just for fun, but I'm not going to do an episode just to showcase more, like, the two stages we missed or whatever it is. I don't know. I got to look at the map. I got to analyze the map. Analyze it. We're flying through this. Flying through this. Serena's great to fly through it. I found out last episode. She's super good. I don't even need to use Golden Buddy very much. She's got all the moves I like. The uppercut. She just doesn't have a dash. We talked about in the last episode. So if you're watching this before you watch the last episode, come on. Get with the get with the program. So we'll get the fifth ending. This is gonna be the fifth ending on this episode. And then I'm probably going to get the two secret endings, or the two modified endings, I should say. And then I'll put a video up with just the endings. All right. So first choice, we're going to go to the forest and rest. Meet uh, Pikachu again, maybe. Randy's master. Fight some wolves. Stage three, monster in the forest. Fight some uh, thong ogres. Some flabby butt cheek ogres. There they are! Right on cue! I still don't feel good about beating up these wolves though. That's animal abuse. Come on. They're just living their lives in the forest. We are the aggressors here. I suppose they could be the Thong Ogre's pets. Maybe they train them. The bees. Don't need no bees. Get out of here, bees. Oh, Serena is so good. Like, I keep saying that, but she's so good. She's got that dash. Not a, it's not really a dad. Oh, I'm just going to let him do his thing. Everybody's gonna get blowed up. Oh, someone's still alive. Nope. Well, the plant's still alive. It wasn't on the screen, really. Alright, so let's keep going. So, what can I tell you about this game that I haven't already? It's a treasure game. It's amazing. I love it. I said last episode, if anyone has suggestions on games like this that use the multiplaying system, please let me know. Just out of curiosity. So I've never played another game. If 
fighting game that uses it. It's not a free-flowing plane. You know, you jump in and out of the screen. It's very unique, very cool. I actually got my Switch copy of TMNT Shredder's Revenge from Limited Run recently. Might do a playthrough of that with the kiddos. Maria and Isaac, who have been on a couple episodes of this Guarded Heroes playthrough. I think they've been on one episode each. Get out of there! Go! I have not learned anything since the first episode. <laughs> Those things explode. I'm a slow learner, I guess. All right, get your booty cheeks away from me. There we go. Alright, getting through. Getting through, we're flying through. This might be a shorter episode because we're flying. I have a goal. A goal in mind. I still don't know if I should start reading as soon as I do. But I like to start reading when I get to new stages. So it's a new dialogue we haven't seen before. If I start reading, I don't want to stop, so I always read that middle section in where we get told the story of the Sky Spirits and the Earth Spirits for the millionth time. But just bear with me. Just have fun with me. Man, this thing can't even hit us. Serena's just like on it. Nice. 12 hit? Oh, I got a... What was that? 14 hit combo? I think that was my biggest combo. That I've ever had. It spit on me. It spit fire. It's a rapper. It spit fire. Alright. It's Pikachu time. Hello, Pikachu. Wow. Pikachu just got blowed up. Where did he go? There he is. How are you still alive? Is there a Poké Center here? Alright, so we're gonna skip past this too, I think. We've read this uh, four times or so now. The next level should be a new level, so I'll start reading after the next level. That's where we gotta fight the Red Knights again. My ex-compatriots. My ex-friends. Oops. That was the wrong thing. Alright, I got it. So obviously I liked my PlayStation 2. I know I... And the Saturn guy, I guess you could say. Saturn is my favorite system of all time, but it doesn't mean I didn't like the PlayStation. Obviously, PlayStation has a million good games on it. Exaggerating, but you know, you know what I mean. Final Fantasies, right? Final Fantasy VII, the original. It's probably my, still maybe my favorite RPG of all time. One of my favorite Saturn RPGs of all time is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Which will get a playthrough pretty soon. Maybe after I finish God of War. Which I keep in my head wanting to call it Thor Ragnarok. Which is a great movie. And I haven't read any spoilers or anything for the new God of War. I know some of it got leaked, depending on when you watch this video. You watch it 20 years from now. I don't know what to tell you. Doesn't she... Come on. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. I didn't want to beat her while she was down. I want to be a good person. Good person. Alright. I'm going to skip all this. But we need to make a different choice at the path choosing. So I hope I don't skip past that. There we go. Alright. So we're going to head to the castle. 
The Black Knight doesn't know the truth. He doesn't know that the cons are false cons created by canon. He doesn't even know that he is not the real prince. Nonsense. Are you telling me Valgar doesn't know he is not a real prince? It's not true. They wanted power to build an ideal kingdom. They killed people, burned down houses, all for the sake of the empire, their empire. They must be held responsible for the evil deeds that they have done. Calm down. <laughs> he's, very, he's very nonchalant. This is only the beginning. Soon you will know the whole truth. We know the whole truth. Already. I mean, maybe not. Maybe uh, there will be some revelations on this path that we don't know. So this should be stage eight. Yep. Earth in sorrow. Uh, this is a new background. This is a new stage. I dig it. Oh, there's more uh, zombies. More zombies. Is this the Walking Dead or is this Guardian Heroes? The zombies bring with them slow down and famine. Alright, go berserk, buddy. A lot of slow down. I do want to play the remastered version after doing all this, just to see more of the differences. I didn't play it very much. I played it very briefly. Wow, he really killed everybody except for one person. Oh, <laughs> trying to run away, bro? Anyways, I didn't really play it very much. Uh, I said before, I've explained this before, I'm not a fan of the graphical style. The, the smoothed out things. I like pixels. Pixels. I'm gonna have an I Love Pixels shirt in the store soon. Shop.enemyzero.com. Let's go. Um, so I like the pixel look. More than the... Uh, that's why I don't like a lot of the... Remakes. The square remakes of the old RPGs. Like the Final Fantasies on the PlayStation and stuff is they do that graphical like smoothing on the old pixels it look oh, it looks terrible it looks terrible these people oh i skipped past it too fast sorry you caught up with me because those corpses got in my way really it's a shock to see a dead knight draw his sword against his comrades as i thought this is where my ancestors were buried that's cool We've heard about this in the other playthroughs. This is actually like the area that, you know, the bodies were buried, I guess. Dear noble knights, rest in peace in your graves. Know that the true, know that true royal blood will never succumb to this deceit and treachery. The true royal cons? What do you mean by that? What is this place? What's going on? Um, I'm confused. What? Who the heck is this? Is it uh, Golden Warrior's brother? His nephew? I've never felt such a strong spirit. He's an undead general. Holy crap. Alright. Alright, he's uh, like Golden Boy, but silver. Or gray. It's not really silver. Alright. He's only got one arm. That's a cool touch. It's not just a reuse sprite. I mean, it's a little reuse, but... He's only got one arm! That's... That's ballin'. No dual wielding for you, buddy. Oh no, can he go berserk too? Oh, well, he could. We knocked him out of it, though. So he's got the same move set, it looks like. Alright. He gone. He dead. He's dead again. The undead is un undead? You, you warriors of the true cons, rest in peace. It is not you who should be destroyed. I will settle the score for you. That's cool. That's a cool stage. Cool little boss. Nice little backstory. More story. Oh, it's you again. 
But I, but I've had enough of you. Defend yourselves. Okay, now we gotta fight him. Good thing that guy uh, softened him up. The sword through the skull. It's gonna help our job here. Nice. Oh yeah, blow up. He's done. He is done. Done. Oh no. He must have been too far away. He didn't get hit with the full force of the atomic. Atomic golden undead bomb. Ooh, nice. I smashed him in the face. Oh. <laughs> she just killed him. She just gently threw him in the air. Curse you. What? Who are you anyways? Everything started from that sword. What is that sword? The warrior's sword was used in the Age of Swords. The sword, the sword you would never be able to see in the Age of Sorcery. The sword of the knight of the genuine royal family that was annihilated by the false royal family. Sword of the knight of the genuine royal family? A joke one cannot laugh at. Very well. Then you shall rest in peace in the grave of the genuine royal family. No, there is no need. You don't want to expend the effort to fight them. Is it not so, dear prince, the Black Knight? So this is going to be the giant exposition here. So let's just get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. The bloodline of the true cons was not completely destroyed, eh, Serena? Our troop trained you well if you survived this long. Now you think your day has come? The Khans were slain long ago. Why avenge crimes that happened before you were ever born? Shut up, Tannen. Even if the Khans were wiped out of existence, how can I say nothing? I have seen the magic of the Dark Wizard mock the true glory of the Khans. You are brave to speak so freely. You have the royal fire, just like the dead queen, your mother. You look just like her, Princess Serena. Nonsense. My family has ruled this land since ancient times. My father, the king, never spoke of any change in the royal family. Throw him back. Ha ha ha. I don't know. Should I read this or not? I I feel I feel like this is boring. I feel like I'm a broken book broken record. I was gonna say broken book, that did not make any sense. Uh broken record. <laughs> I remember a warrior. He fought to his last breath the night your family was destroyed. He should have died along with the men he killed on the outskirts of town. I never dreamed that I would come face to face with him again. The warrior who died when my family was destroyed? I knew we'd met each other before. I knew he was a knight of the Khans. The king himself said just before he died, Now my kingdom is that of the sword. Destroy us now. The sword will return and avenge us. As a precaution, I ordered my warriors to gather every scrap of steel and iron not one sword in the kingdom had such power. I should have I should have looked more carefully. The sword found by a stranger turned out to be the one. It was Neo, the one. Serena, when your rebels and the sword worked together as one, that's when my troubles began. What are you up to, Cannon? By the time I was born, you already held total power. Why in the world did you have to destroy my family? Cha! Ja. Alright, story. Story time. It's the never ending story. La 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 la. In ancient, in ancient times, humans merely existed. Proud sky spirits ruled the sky and the earth spirits ruled the earth. These mighty beings fought each other. Humans were caught in the middle and cowered in fear. Then the sky spirits gave us magic. A power beyond the imagination of most humans. Looks like that uh, thing in... What was that movie? Oh, I forget that movie with Natalie Portman and that, that alien thing at the end. We decided to help the Sky Spirits in their fight against the Earth Spirits. We fought with all our might. Most of the wizards died. But we finally succeeded. We banished the Earth Spirits into darkness. If anyone remembers the name of that movie, Annihilation. I think it's Annihilation. Leave it in the comments below, if you agree. But the Sky Spirits were unhappy. They, they began to envy and fear our newly acquired power. They pushed us, the wizards, who would have died for them, into the same darkness as the Earth Spirits. 
the survivors forgot about magic. This was called the time of the sword. I vowed revenge and waited for the right time when I could revive magic in this world. Okay, it's over. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I used spells to hold down the earth spirits and crawled from the darkness. The cons would not trust my magic, so I destroyed them. I replaced them with a wizard kingdom where I hid and waited. You destroyed the cons for your own evil purposes? Yeah, that's what he said. Evil purposes? No, to save humanity. I'm sorry, Valgar, but you choose you chose to live by the sword like a fool. If you were a puppet like the king, you would have lived much longer. Father, he knew everything. Be gone, pest. But those... That magic goes on for so long. Those who... But those who found the sword also found trouble, didn't they? Far better if they'd met me before they met this woman. Well, that's alright. Let it go. Everything's still on schedule. The dawn of the sorcerers is about to begin. All right, we are going with choice number four. Was force the only option? Power is everything. So this is a new choice. We've never made that choice before. So this dialogue should be new. Power is everything. I couldn't take revenge until I had the power of the earth spirits. But now I will show my power to the sky itself. Oh, you're going down. No way. You can break my spells. You. I was going to run. He gone. He gonna run. So this should take us to stage number one, six. Stage 16, Dark Labyrinth. Labyrinth is a great movie. That is an all-time classic. You remind me of the Bane. Not you. You're all, you're, you're a zombie. You're ugly. You don't remind me of nothing. Nothing good. The babe with the power. Right. Let's whoop up. With the Smurf troop. The light blue Smurf troop. So we know there's a red. There's red knights. There's black knights. But did they mention anything else? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Ooh. Let's pop a smurf. Pop a smurf when he hits the weights. He's been training. Three thousand calories a day. Four hundred grams of protein. And pop a smurf. That's what happens. tearing through these guys, though, I feel. Nice. Get down, man. So we've seen this background before. This is a new stage, obviously, but we... What the? Alright, there's the, uh... I don't know what you... I don't have any clue what you want to call those things. The other ones look like peeps, because they were yellow. These ones <laughs> look like turds. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think they have brown peeps, or I've never seen them. So, I can't use the, can't use the peeps descriptor anymore. They look like turds. They're almond joys. <laughs> I don't know. Brown marshmallows. Is there such thing as chocolate marshmallows? Probably should have berserked and get through that even sooner. But these guys aren't very hard. Game's not very hard on easy, so you know, if you're not playing it for a Dark Souls like experience, just play it on easy if you get a chance. 
I hope you do get a chance. Anybody watching this video has never played this game before, I hope you get a chance someday to play this game. It's very fun. It's super fun. It's not a lot to it. Like a playthrough is only about, what have I been doing? Maybe an hour, hour 20 minutes or so for a full playthrough of one of the endings. We're just going through multiple times to get multiple endings. So, you know, not that long or anything. Oh, you got knocked out of it. I heard it. I heard the sound effects. And I got disappointed. This guy must be like the leader or something. Oh, he's level 60. So yeah, he's the leader. Let's get the leader first. He's the, probably the one that makes decisions rather than to wear thongs, okay? Like, this is standard issue outfits, guys. Come on. But he just likes to see them all, their cheeks hanging out. In secret. Alright. Alright. Dead. Let's hop around a little. That was a short stage. Ooh. Do, do. Stubborn, aren't you? I don't have time for this. Get out of here. You're the one who has to get out. <laughs> nice sliding dash move, man. You fools. If I die, do you think it's finished? My rage will live forever, even if this body perishes. Really? You killed him that quick? On some of the other playthroughs, it looked like it took me like 20 minutes. I hate to... I hate to admit it, but what you said... But, blah, blah. I hate to admit it, but what you said was true. I believed in Cannon, obeyed him. But all he desired was his own revenge. I thought a kingdom would be created with magic. I thought we could protect people with artificial soldiers, but I was wrong. All wrong. Regrets don't solve anything. Now we need to protect the kingdom. We must fight with all our strength. Right? So this choice is going to be... What do we just do? 16? So this is going to be a 2. Let's destroy Cannon's army. Cannon's wizard soldiers? We've got to stop them. I hope, I'm, <laughs> I hope I didn't make a mistake. This should be stage 22. We'll see. We'll see if I screw it up or not. Yes! Stage 22. Steel Fort. It's going to be one last uh, choice after this, and then we're free sailing to the ending. Looks like we're going to finish in record time for the last episode. So, I mean, this old Saturn stuff, obviously, and I know that's not a huge audience for it, so if you do like seeing some of this old stuff with fresh eyes, um, as someone, you know, pretending to play it again for the first time, I guess, that appreciates it originally, and with the quality that it is, like, I'm sure a lot of the Guardian Heroes videos on or Sega Saturn in general. Sega Saturn videos on YouTube are probably pretty low quality. You know, made with S-Video or, you know, you know, <laughs> the old crappy composite R RF switch back in the day, you know what I mean? Um, so it's sort of reference quality, quality of footage, you know what I mean? So if, if you do like that, then please pass the word around in your circle of people that might want to watch more stuff like this so that once I know that people like some of the stuff like this I'll definitely be motivated to make more my ultimate project would be to get a Sadiator someday um, just so because I don't I don't have a complete Saturn collection I have most of the hard expensive games already 
which I will probably do a video on eventually. Um, a talking video, like, hey, this is my Saturn collection or whatever. Um, but I need to get a Satiator, probably. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Once I get a Satiator, I, I almost want to do a Let's Play for, as a challenge, every Saturn game ever made. Ever made. Maybe start with the US titles and then do some imports or something like that. Like, I think that would be an awesome project for me, because I love the Saturn. And even the crappy games, I, you know, still maybe want to play a little bit. So maybe I don't beat every game out there. Like, I'm not going to play 20 hours of, what was that super crappy RPG, Ringlord Saga or whatever? <laughs> Mysteria? <laughs> um, like, I don't want to do 20 episodes of that for my sanity. <laughs> But maybe, maybe I can, you know, play it just, just to experience it. Some of the games I haven't played before. It's not like I've played every Saturn game ever. I only had a small collection when I was younger. As we've gone over, we've been through this. Hold on, I'm trying to concentrate on a bunch of guys on the screen. I was going to do a big Halloween play playthrough this year, too, but it never transpired. I want to do a playthrough of all the Resident Evil games eventually, too. Every single one. Remakes. Or maybe I should do originals. That's more in tune for my channel. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. To let me know. Oop. It's my third continue, number three. I still think it's funny they give you 99 continues, like, really? <laughs> it's a little excessive, don't you think? Really think someone needs 99 continues for this game? My kids could finish it in less than that. Alright, it's dead. Keep going. This background looks uh, familiar, but this is a stage we've never been to before, for sure. Whoa. I never fail to carry out my master's plans. Nobody stands in my way. Humans cannot defeat me because their emotions interfere with logic. Arg, unfair. He's got Lucia as a hostage. Don't worry about me. You must destroy Cannon's evil creation. I didn't know that Cannon created a false kingdom of magic. You must save the kingdom. There is a choice here. So, hope for a miracle, try and save Lucia, or attack and sacrifice Lucia. So, what we're going to do is choose number two. And this should take us to the last ending we need. All right. We're ready. Humans cannot defeat us. Come with us, princess. You may still be of use to us. So this robot guy is new. I know on the very first path, I think, there was a, one, a guy that looked like him, but he was silver. So this one's gold, I guess. That's the big dichotomy here. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> It's, what is that from Rudolph? <laughs> or, uh, no, it's from Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger. I don't know. I'm showing my age again. Okay, I was so not ready for that. All right, get up. You got Thor's hammer around your head. Oh my gosh, these guys are. There's three of these guys. It's hard fighting three of them at once. Look how high I'm jumping. I'm like. To the moon. I'm like Mario with a frog suit on. Alright, we're getting tore up a little bit. So, we need to change up strategies a little bit. I'm trying to jump attack him. I think that's the best way to get out of the middle. Alright, get away. Oh, I can't go any further. <laughs> I got stopped by the edge of the screen. But I had the right idea finally. I was getting out of the explosion. Alright, go, go, go! Out! 
All right, let's chase him down. Let's go, bro. Just gonna put, keep putting strength. There's no reason to do vitality. That's just easy. Stage 27, clockwork strategy. Hmm, I think this is a unique back. Oh, well. I don't recognize this background. This might be a unique background. So far. Ooh, I just jumped out of that beam at the last second. Alright, I'll come help you, man. I didn't mean to run away. I was just trying to create some distance. I need him to blow up, though. It's like he's anger from inside out. He's gonna blow. Even if he doesn't blow his fire attack when he's berserking, obviously that's amazing. I need to get around the back. This is not working. I should use my magic. I'm so bad at using the magic. There we go. That's the one I wanted to do. Nice. Oh, he was gonna blow up. He was gonna do the thing. You know, do the thing. Do the thing, man. Do the thing. Alright, robots. Almost dead. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, he's getting there. He's getting there. Come on. Jump to me. Jump to me. There we go. There we go. Making some progress now. This, the last set of stages we've already talked about this before, but the enemies get a lot of health on these last stages, so they take a lot more time to kill. Oh, there's two robots here. I can't get up! I can't get up! Alright. Let me get out of here. Ouch. That gun reminds me of that, uh... A guy in the original Robocop movie. I forget, I forget what it's called. That big robot that that killed the, the business people. Brrr. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen Robocop. That's uh Kids nowadays don't even know who Robocop is. He never got a stunt. Saturday morning cartoon special. Oh, I didn't even know that. Notice that robot was blowing up over there. Hey, almost dead. Almost there. One guy left. Hadouken! Hey, let's keep it going. I wish you could dash longer. This stage is easily one of my least favorite in the game. <laughs> There's too many of these robots. Was he... Was he blowing up? It made the sound effect, but... The graphics, it looked like he just did... I don't know. Maybe it was the robot. Maybe the robot was shooting his beam or something and didn't get it off. But the sound still played, I don't know. I don't know. Almost there. So 
this ending might not. The way it sounds so far, it doesn't even look like it involves Earth or Sky Spirits at all. Because the king's not here. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not going to make any assumptions. Let's, let's just do it. Alright, there he is again. Oh, the other guy was called Silver, too. That was his name. This guy... Is his name Gold? Yellow? Dang. He got out of there quick. I can't atone for what I have done. But I love the kingdom, too. Please let me help. Valgar, I understand. You take care of Lucia. I will stop Cannon. Nice. So he rescued the prince. Wait, are those... Yeah. So he's going to fight those. I, I bet you he gets blown up too, okay? I bet you a million dollars. He doesn't know to run away. Stage 30, a new journey. I right, caught up with him. With the master gone, not a single human being can rule this land. We artificial soldiers will therefore rule you from now on. Okay, I don't think that doesn't sound like a good deal. What a horrible thing to say. I can't let you take over. You are evil. Oh, oh. That was pretty quick. What the heck? Look at these gems. They don't have life bars. Is there something to do with these gems? Like, do I have to hit them? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I have to hit them. Am I doing anything by hitting them? I don't know. I don't remember. This guy's got a lot of health. What is this, that thing in the ground? He made a little, like, uh, claw. Claw game. A reverse claw game. I wonder if he's still berserking, I can't even tell. I've been not really in this fight. There's the claw, don't hit the claw. The villain from uh, Inspector Gadget. Get behind him. It's time for the pincer move. Like the gems, I can hit the gems and they fly away. I wonder if that does anything though. I don't know. I don't think so. He's still berserking, so if I see him start to blow up, I, I'll have to distract the boss. Come on, blow up, buddy. You can do it. I don't think it said this thing's name. I'm pretty sure the silver version he called silver or something like that. But this is definitely the only, the second appearance of these uh, kind of guys, artificial guys, I guess. Robot people that want to take over the world? He's got zero health. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Of course. Final boss, final episode, and I get blown up. Everybody's safe. Everybody's here. Thank you. Kanan's evil dream of the future has been shattered. Oh, it is a... Yes, it is over. Where is Valgar? My brother is gone. He will fight with even greater force to protect the people of our kingdom. Please don't follow him. I want you to rebuild our kingdom. Help bring back peace. I will do anything for it. Yes, everybody feels the same about their country. A kingdom shouldn't be built by a handful of powerful people. Let's work together and make peace in the world. Some good sentiment behind this ending. This is my favorite ending so far. gonna show the sword and the cliff again like last ending it is no oh it's Valgar 
He's going to be the secret protector of the world now. He has turned into Batman. Okay, well that wasn't much of an ending, I guess. But, I, I don't know. I, I like the sentiment before the ending, I guess. But, anyways, that's it. So we flew through it for this last episode. So, I just want to say thank you if you watched any of these episodes. Any of the episodes in the channel. And you like them. Please let me know. So I can keep it going. And thank you so much for watching. I love you. And I appreciate you. And all that good stuff. So, peace out. Hi everyone. Yes, all two of you. I'm Sean, aka Enemy Zero, and thank you for watching my channel. Um, you can help me out by like, commenting, subscribing below, and check out my link tree for other ways to support me, such as hiring me for voice acting if you need to. So, guys, gals, non-binary pals, thank you everybody for watching, and remember, I'm Enemy Zero, and you're not.